Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy peasant top for summer. I love easy clothes in the summer. I basically live in dresses. Lately I've been putting on this vest over it. But I also love easy tops with shorts and nothing is as loose and easy as a peasant top. They're also really easy to sew. Once you get the hang of it, you could whip out three in an hour. Same with peasant dresses for kids. They're just so simple to sew. You need only the very basic knowledge. You could pick up fabric at a thrift shop. You could possibly even use an extra large men's shirt to make it. You could have your whole wardrobe sewn and inexpensive in only a few days if you want to. All right, let's dive into the tutorial. You're going to need to start with about a yard and a half of fabric. Now, if you cut everything just perfectly and you have 44 inch wide fabric, which is standard, you can get by with one yard and a quarter. So if you want to leave a little margin for error, I suggest one and a half, but you can definitely get by. I want my stripes going horizontal. I just prefer horizontal stripes. And the first thing I'm gonna cut out is the front and back piece of the blouse. To do that, I'm gonna do two pieces, 26 wide by 22 long. Now, if your fabric is 44 inches wide, you will want to cut the two lengths from the width so that you just basically cut the fabric in half and then go up 26 inches. Now, because I want my stripes horizontal, I actually have to work more with my yardage. So this is an instance where you'll want to get more fabric, but if you do cut it from the width of the 44 inch fabric for your 22 length, then you will end up with just the right amount if you do one and a quarter. Now, the best fabric is usually something pretty lightweight. I have a linen here. Cotton would also work. Maybe even something as light as gauze. You don't want to use something stretchy, but quilters fabric, linen, all are good choices for this. You can reference the blog post on this for more tips and fabric suggestions. Now for the sleeves, I'm gonna cut two 22 inches wide by 18 inches long. Now, if you are utilizing a fabric that doesn't have a stripe and you're not worried about which way the stripe would go, again, you can use the width of your fabric to make two pieces and then you can just make them 18 inches long. I also want my stripes to go horizontally on the sleeves. So I'm going to do the width this way and then the 18 inch length this way. One of my favorite ways for cutting fabric straight is cutting a little ways and then folding it over on itself. I'm gonna take one of my main pieces that is 26 by 22. I'm gonna fold it lengthwise. Here's the fold, here's the raw edges. I'm gonna measure six inches over from these raw edges right here. And I'm gonna make just a little mark with my scissors. Then I'm gonna go to my middle where the fold is, and I'm gonna measure down about two inches. And then I'm just gonna curve up like this to my other mark. So I have a nice little curve. Next, I'm gonna measure down these raw edge side, not the fold, but the other side, about 10 inches and make a mark. And then I'm just going to curve down to my mark. Sometimes I like to go a little bit uh, one way and then the other to make sure I'm getting my curve just right. Okay, you can trim it up a little bit to make sure you have it how you want it. Next, I'm gonna take my other main piece and I'm just going to fold it in half and trace the exact pattern that I just created onto it. Now, if you really want to make a lot of these for summer, you could trace this onto a piece of fabric, like an extra piece, and then just set it aside so that you can easily, without having to do any measuring, just make this over and over again if you have your pattern piece. Next, 
Next, I'm going to take the sleeve piece, fold it in half, and I'm going to lay my other pattern piece, my bodice, front or back, whichever one. I'm going to lay it on top of it, lining up all of the raw edges, not the folds, but the raw edges. And I'm just going to trace here and here. I'm just going to do this exact same thing with the other sleeve piece and then it's time to assemble. Okay, now it's time to put these together. First I'm gonna lay out one of my front and back pieces. I'm gonna take one of my sleeves and line it up. Right sides together. Mine doesn't really have a side, well, maybe it kinda does. I think that's right. Actually, no, now that side looks right. I think mine doesn't have a side, but if yours does, you'll want to lay them right sides facing together because when you turn it out, this will be the shirt. So what I have here is a sleeve laying on top of the front piece, right sides together with them lined up right here. And I'm just going to stitch the line I just showed you. So from here down to here, making sure to back and forward stitch at the beginning and end. I'm doing about a quarter inch seam. I'm going to do the same thing with the other sleeve, lining it up right sides together. Now that I have both sleeves attached, I'm going to attach the front or the back, whichever way you want to look at it, by lining up the front with the other side of the sleeve on this side, and then sewing down the sleeve, and then on this side. So it essentially will be front, sleeve, back, sleeve, all in a circular motion. You can finish off your raw edges with a zigzag stitch or a serger. Now after you've finished your raw edges, the next step is to sew down the side seams. Just turn your blouse inside out so that you see the seams and then you'll sew from the end of the sleeve around and down to the bottom. And make sure to line up underneath the arms the seam there as you are sewing. You can use pins if this is easier. And then you'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, we're gonna take the ends of the sleeves, fold it over about a quarter inch and another quarter inch, and then sew all the way around, leaving one part open. I'm gonna leave the part right here, and that will be so I can push elastic through. I'm going to put this hem leaving that spot open on both the sleeves. You'll need three pieces of one quarter inch elastic, one piece at 30 inches for the neck and two at 13 for the bottoms of the sleeves. Overlap the elastic and sew back and forth to keep it from pulling apart. Next, I'm just going to close the piece I left open when pushing the elastic through. I'm just going to sew that shut. Next, I'm just going to put a hem in the bottom. I'm going to create a very narrow hem if you make it wide, the shirt feels too heavy at the bottom. So I'm just gonna do it really tiny like this. Just sew all the way around. You could press it to make it a little bit straighter. Personally, I just like to fold it over as I go and make sure it all lines up and is nice and straight. Make sure to check out on my blog. I have a sewing series called the Simple Sewing Series where you can learn everything from threading the machine all the way to making hems and seams and get yourself started with sewing. Also, if you are already an experienced sewer, I have so many tutorials here on this channel and on my blog. There is a playlist with all of my sewing tutorials that you can check out, several for sewing clothing, but also home decor like curtains and pillows. 
aprons, lots of projects. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.